What is up YouTube, IDM here, and welcome back to another setup video. I'm gonna show you guys how to create this setup. Now this is an ongoing series, uh, so if this is the first time you're seeing this, just check out the playlist link in the description. I'll have all of my setup guide videos in that playlist, uh, so you guys can kind of follow along to see how I am doing all of this stuff on iOS 15. And uh, also in the description, I'll leave all the links for everything you guys need in order to get your iPhone looking like uh, mine, basically. So I'm kind of building off of yesterday's video where I did these kind of stock looking, well, they are stock icons with no labels. Um, so I'm expanding upon that. So if you guys need to see how to create the icons like you see them here, uh, just check out the previous episode. I explained it there. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to get our iPhone to this setup. So let me go ahead and just uh, clear this out and we will start from a point that might look familiar. Let me go ahead and use this as my wallpaper. So there we go. So this is an easy point to get to right here. Uh, we just have eight icons at the top there and then we have the four in the dock. Now to pull off this effect, we're gonna be using an application and a shortcut to get the look that you guys seen before I reset it back to this. So we're using weather HTML to put that hello and weather condition onto the home screen. Now I'm not gonna show you guys how to install weather HTML in this video. I have a completely dedicated video on how to install that shortcut and how to use it. So link for that will be down in the description. So if you guys need to see how to use this shortcut, just watch my dedicated tutorial. Um, it, it's, it's a little bit of a process, but once you've used it a bunch, it's, it's really quite easy to just hop in and make changes and change your setup completely. So this, this setup is kind of going off of two other videos that I've done, like I said, link in the description. So to get the theme, we're just gonna go into Discord here and I'm gonna scroll up in the Innovation Discord, link for this is in the description as well. Um, and if we go into the gallery channel here, uh, if you guys just scroll up a little bit here, you will find that theme that I am using. It is called IDM 06. And we'll just keep scrolling. So here is 07 and then here is 06. So this is the theme that I am using uh, for this setup. And as you can see, actually in this screenshot, I had it set up a little bit different, which was kind of cool looking at the time, but now I'm kind of making it a little bit more simplified. So from here, all you gotta do is click on the download link for the theme, click download, and then we'll click on more. And then we're going to save the, uh, the download to our files. So save to files, and then I'll show you guys the directory in which you want to save these files. Like I said, weather HTML 2.0 is required for this to work. So within iCloud Drive, you go into your shortcuts folder, and then you go into uh, iOS weather, which is right here. And then you go into O2 weather HTML 2.0, and you can save the file right there. So just click save. And now we have saved that zip file. So now we can exit out of Discord and we can go into our files application. Let me clear this out and I am in the directory or in the folder, as you can see, O2 weather HTML 2.0, and there is the file. Again, I will show you the directory because I know a lot of people get confused with navigating through files, but it's, it's really quite easy. iCloud Drive, scroll down, shortcuts folder, iOS weather, O2 weather HTML 2.0. Now we just need to unzip the file, so we'll just click on it like this, and you can see it is extracting it there. And now we can delete the zip, we no longer need it. And here are the files. Now I already have it in here, as you can see it made a duplicate, so it put a two at the end. So I already have it, so I'm just gonna delete this one, just because I don't need it, because I have the original right there. Now we need to change the theme for weather HTML uh, in order to use it. So I'm just gonna click on the JSON file here, and this is where you can change what theme you're using with this shortcut. So I'm gonna click on share and I'm gonna open it in the Codex application. This Codex app is free from the App Store. I usually would use Text-tastic, but everyone's using Codex because it's free. So I figured I would switch over to it so I can relate to you guys. So all you gotta do is change the name within these quotations. You have to spell this 100% accurately. There, 
it has to be in the quotes perfectly. So for this theme, the name of it is IDM underscore 06, but it's lowercase i, capital D, capital M, underscore, and then 06. You have to spell it exactly as you see it there, and it has to be perfectly in the quotations with no spaces. If you put a space here, this will break it. It won't work. You will get an error. So you have to spell it 100% correctly. And then make sure that it is applying it to the home screen by changing that number above. If it's set to zero, just make sure it's set to one. And I like to disable the lock screen as I do this because I'm just focusing on the home screen. So I have the apply on lock screen as zero so that it does not do anything to my lock screen. Now we're ready to run the shortcut. It's as easy as that. So we're just gonna click the shortcut here. It's going to run. You can actually exit out of shortcuts. You can watch the change take effect. It's gonna gather weather information, the images, and then it's going to set it as your home screen wallpaper. And that's basically how the shortcut works. It uses real-time weather conditions. It uses real-time date information, battery info, all of that. So it's very, very cool. So there you go, as you can see, we have the wallpaper set up. Now you can see it shows the current date and the current weather condition. So anytime you want the newest information displayed here, like tomorrow, if you want it to be Thursday, you have to run the shortcut again. So that's how you update this wallpaper and you can automate the shortcut to do this. You can do it in automation. Um, but I'm just gonna keep it as is. This is something I can just do in the morning. I'll just run it and then update it and I'm good to go. Now to get the icons below it, which is a really cool looking effect and it's, this is what makes people wonder how did I make the setup like this? Well, we're using an application called Clear Spaces from the App Store. Now this is a very interesting application because the app has no name. So that is what clear spaces looks like and that's what makes it look super seamless on iOS 15 is there is no application name. So it just looks like there's information floating above your icons. So you need clear spaces and when you launch the app, it's really quite simple. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna tap and hold on the home screen and go to a blank page. So just swipe over make sure there's no icons above it and you literally just take a screenshot. So you take that screenshot and now we can click done and now we're going to tap and hold again and we're going to click plus and we're going to add a clear spaces widget to the home screen. As you can see, there's no name. It's really weird. We'll click on that and then we're going to do the large clear spaces and I'm going to go ahead and add the widget and I'm going to click done. And then all you got to do is click on the widget, click on light or dark mode, depending on which you're in. If you're using both, if you switch between them, then just apply the same screenshot. So just take that screenshot and tap on it just like that. It doesn't seem to be changing because I already had it, but just for reference, I can just change it to like this. And then when I exit, you'll see that it actually looks really weird. Um, but we'll just use this one and then we'll exit and there you go. So now the apps are below the clear spaces widget which has the wallpaper information from Weather HTML 2.0. And that is basically how you pull off this look. Now, like I said, each day you will have to update uh, this info if you want it to say the current date and you want it to have the current weather conditions. Now, it's really easy. Literally, all you gotta do is go into shortcuts, run the shortcut, and then we'll just wait for it to finish. And then we hop out, we take a screenshot of the home screen and then update clear spaces. That's basically how it works. It's a little bit of legwork to maintain a simple setup like this because you do have to update it manually, but it does look really cool. And like I said, it makes people wonder how did I do it? So now that we ran the shortcut again, rinse and repeat, go to the, a blank page, screenshot, swipe it away, click done, go here, click there, update the wallpaper and boom, you have the updated information just like that. Now, another thing that's kind of weird is when you open up an app and exit, you can kind of see a little edging because the iOS has the fly in kind of animation. So it kind of squishes everything and it gives you that animation. You can get rid of that. So if you don't like the way that that looks, you can reduce the, the motion here. And it's interesting because you can do it specifically just for the home screen. So if you go into accessibility and then you scroll to the bottom, you can see a per app settings. 
if you go into per app settings you can add an application and it lets you add just the home screen um, to this so we can just click on that and then we can go into the home screen and as you can see there is the reduce motion option you can turn this on if you really don't like the way that it clips and has that animation so now when I exit it's just got kind of a smooth looking effect you get a little haptic feedback anytime you exit an app and it gets rid of that fly in kind of animation that shows you the edges so that's one thing you could do I personally it doesn't really bother me so I just leave this away but you could do that if you don't want this animation clipping the edge but that's basically how I pulled off the setup uh, like I said I'll leave all the links for everything else you guys will need in the description whether HTML 2.0 how to get that shortcut up and running on your iPhone, how to use it. Also, the Innovation Discord link is in the description. So if you guys want to hop into the Discord channel here to get the download, it is available there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this um, second setup video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.